So today's one take vlog was meant to come from Disney's Animal Kingdom. I did go today, however, the battery on my camera run out before I had a chance to do my one take vlog. So really sorry, there is going to be Animal Kingdom highlights at the end. Did manage to film quite a lot of footage today, hence why the battery has gone flat. But yeah, as for the one take, um, yeah, really sorry. It's from Cabana Bay hotel room again. Um, so yeah, I had a really good day. Uh, first day down at Disney. So caught a Uber down uh, first thing. Done so much today at Disney, so much. So I've spent the whole day at Animal Kingdom. Didn't transfer parks, literally spent the whole day dedicating it just to Animal Kingdom. Um, done Flight of Passage, Navi River Journey, the Festival of the Lion King, uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris, Everest five times. Um, flight, uh, not Flight of Passage, I've already said Flight of Passage. Uh, Rivers of Light, um, so much, so, so, so much. Um, there's been a few updates since last year that I've noticed. So Festival of the Lion King, they've changed slightly. So um, it's still as amazing as ever. Um, yeah, I still vouch that the, uh, the musicals at Disney are on par with the London West End shows. They are so good. They're obviously not the same length, but the quality of the production, um, the singing, um, the props, the costumes, they're so good. They are so good. So that was the first thing that I'd done this morning, was started the day off with Festival of the Lion King. Um, and then just kind of taking my day slowly since then i haven't really rushed um also went up to rafiki's um i don't know what you call it i've got hang on a minute i've got the map here um so hang on a minute where is it you have to catch the train up so you catch it in africa and then it takes you up like past where the safari is and believe it or not, the amount of times that I've done Animal Kingdom and I've never, I've never done it. It is called, all you like Disney goers are probably shouting at me going, it's such and such. I can't remember what it's called. It's Rafiki something. Rafiki's Planet Watch. There you go. So up there, um, there is a petting zoo so you can pet goats and sheep um and there's all like animals around the outside that if they come up to you up to like the fence you can pet them so there's donkeys and um there's all sorts and literally as i arrived on the train um they've brought out um some like birds like tropical birds so i can't remember what bird was there when i got there first of all um and then they brought out a toucan, which was amazing because when uh, I've been to Costa Rica, so that's where obviously toucans come from, South South America. Um, and although technically Costa Rica is central, but anyway, <laughs> toucans. Uh, yeah, the like the beak on them, so huge and it's so colourful. And they've they've managed to train these birds. So the birds that they bring out, they're not, um, they haven't got kind of the string or anything like that. So as and when they come and then they hold on to them, um, they're all trained. So and they they can fly freely. They kind of do different tricks with um, audience participation and stuff like that. And this toucan was literally hopping. Um, they got like audience, uh, three members of the, the audience to come out and put their their arms out straight, both arms. And they demonstrated how toucans like to jump from branch to branch. So yeah, this toucan was literally hopping um, across everyone's arms. It was, it was awesome. Um, so that was literally as I arrived. 
then I went into like the the petting zoo and then there's a bit of a like a demonstration of um, how they'd trained this sheep and uh, they essentially trained them on sound so as and when they do a command um, correctly they do a click and then treat them um, so that was quite interesting to watch and to see that and then I went into like the the indoor part and everyone was kind of queuing everyone was queuing up I didn't really know what was happening what they were queuing up for um, but I just thought I'll oh, join the queue there's clearly something that they're queuing up for some sort of show or demonstration and it was a animation um like workshop oh i can hardly walk that's how many miles i've done today so it oh it is essentially um a uh you get like a a skilled drawer like artist um or animator um kind of showing you step by step how to draw um one of the disney characters so uh it's pre-decided predetermined what one um they're going to draw so as and when you queue up you can see what that demonstration is going to be for oh no how am i going to do this because the I really wanted to keep the paper flat and look after it because I'm quite happy with these. I'm quite proud. I haven't quite finished them, but I'm quite happy with how they come out. So I wanted to kind of take them home and then finish them. But essentially, this is the first one that I've done. Bear with me. So we've done Scar. So Scar was the, the first... Um was the first drawing that we done and I enjoyed it so much I went out and then went back in for the next demonstration and and it was Timon there you go so yeah I was tempted to go back in the third time but um there was plenty of space so I could have I could have gone back in but um i just decided to kind of get back on with my day but uh, i think the the third demonstration that i could have gone to was um simba um but as a cub so uh yeah and kind of kind of wishing that i had done it but yeah i'd spent too much time drawing and kind of losing myself in the bubble there was plenty much more to do around the park so i caught the train back and uh then i had my fast pass for navi river journey um so headed in went and went and done that um it's a good ride if it's if it comes down to that and flight passage without a doubt it needs to be flight passage um it's yeah it's not even in the same league um as flight passage but it's still a good ride i did enjoy Navi River Journey um, and then kind of explored uh, Pandora a little bit more and went and got got food from the canteen um, so when I've gone there before I've had the like the burger pods the cheese burger pods whereas this time I went for the um, essentially you can choose a meat so like either steak chicken or I think it's tofu where you can have ones where it's like a mixture of say the chicken and the steak um then you choose your base which is essentially noodles i filmed it all so it'll be in like a later vlog but it's either like noodles rice beans or something else then you choose like your sauce so i went for like the black bean vinaigrette i think it was um it was really good the chicken was so good um you can tell like it's been flame grilled like almost barbecued um like the taste of it was so good and i got one of the um the blueberry uh pandora pudding like cheesecake things which was so good so good um so from there i then headed to 
uh, I then headed to Everest and I had had about 45 minutes before my fast pass for Rivers of Light opened up. So I just literally caned the, the single queue for uh, Everest. Just kept on going around and around and around. See how many times that I could fit Everest in. Managed four <laughs> before my fast pass opened and I'm kind of glad that I only managed to fit the four in. Towards the end of the four I was just like, I don't know if I got it in me to, to do a fifth. I forgot how far you fall backwards in the dark, like when you go up and then you come to the dead end and then you fall backwards. I just forgot how far you fall backwards in the dark and the g-force as well it's like oh you really kind of getting bumped about and pushed into your seat see so yeah, i filmed that much today that i just ran out of space on my memory cards that stopped recording so <laughs> two take vlog <laughs> um so yeah ended up doing four times on uh everest and then went in for the rivers of light which is another thing that they've updated since last year so I think it's now called Rivers of Light We Are One. Um, much, in my opinion anyway, much better than the original Rivers of Light. So it still stays true to um, the original one. But they've injected a lot more of, say, um, the Disney animals in there so there's quite a lot of lion king there's jungle book there's a bit of bambi in there um and they've started uh kind of injecting that music as well uh so there's a lot of the like the lion king um circle of life and that sort of um sort of audio and soundtrack which i think yeah helps enhance it tenfold in my personal opinion anyway um but yeah amazing really really good um yeah i enjoyed it i enjoyed it so then from there uh i then went back on everest <laughs> so as i as and when i left i was like let's see if i can make it like five attempts like five goes on everest um they closed a the single key line um single rider line by that point so i had to go through standby but standby was literally like a 10 minute wait um so because i was in standby and i never get to request front row because i'm normally a single rider um i requested front row so i yeah stayed and waited for the front row it was so amazing front row is yeah it's a definite if the the extra queue isn't crazy for it it's definitely worth waiting the extra like well what i waited today less than five minutes um to go to go do front row because there's literally nothing in front of you there's not even like the train that pulls you up the train is at the back um so it's literally your cart is the front um it's so good it's so good being front row um so then from there i decided to decided to leave the park because i knew by then that i'd run out of power on this um i had like less than 10 percent on my phone battery and i was like right i really need to order an uber and get back to the hotel so that's exactly what i've done um i've come back i've grabbed dinner from cabana bay um had a burger and chips which was good really good for like like kind of canteen cafeteria hotel food it was it was good i enjoyed it so i'm just gonna edit now do the one take vlog and then yeah get to bed um tomorrow um because i've had such a full-on day today at disney um I think I'm probably going to run some errands here and kind of do things like go go shopping maybe. Maybe go to Walmart and maybe do the outlets. Um, yeah, and I need to kind of do 
like washing and because I've booked through Virgin um, they they give you uh, complimentary um, drinks and pool floats so the only thing with the pool floats you've got to be around when the pool shack is open which is through the day which is obviously generally when I'm at the parks so I might stick around tomorrow and get my pool floats and yeah then see oh yeah I've just had a brainwave um Cabana Bay is one of the hotels that does the screenings of a night time at the pool um so last year uh the only time that I managed to make one of the screenings was for Jurassic Park but it was so cool just sat there in my pool float watching Jurassic Park and I was eating my um like skittles and stuff like that from mickey's not so scary so tomorrow might be more of a relaxed day kind of a little bit more boring kind of vlog wise i'm not really really gonna have much to update on unfortunately um but yeah go do a little bit of shopping kind of get some stuff for here do my washing and then if i've got time i'll head into the parks but I'm feeling I'm feeling the pool float and the the poolside screening. I'll just see what film it is. I have to try and find out what film they're going to show tomorrow. Um, but yeah, as of today, that is it, and I'll update you tomorrow. And I'll let you know what I do end up getting up to, whether I do end up in the parks or whether I don't. Yeah. Okay. So here are today's highlights. See you tomorrow, bye.